those out. Well, I think we do. Probably cut like half of them out. Uh, so um, a portion of them got all of that. Right, and then they they got replaced. I mean, so yeah, they asked for stuff. I mean, so yeah, I mean, they brought up stuff. Yeah. The other, I mean, do they understand the budget schedule? And I mean, they, are they invited to sit and get committed? I don't think they were ever invited to sit. Well, no, throughout the no, throughout the their contract the is to run it, right? Not right. to develop. Yeah. They're not so yeah. I mean, if you, you guys are talking, you guys are talking about a CBD project or something. Right. Yeah, it's something it's like not that. their responsibility to develop. No, right. no they well, bring this stuff up. So I can be. Another reason why I kind of side too is because the original. When we did all that work out there on the south side of the pond, um, that did come in a lot over budget, um, and so some of those costs it, it take a lot of years of the revenue we're getting in to help recruit those costs. So I'd say we're still recouping the cost of making it what it is today. Sure. So. Okay. So I'm not opposed to that. I mean, but I mean. Do more stuff up there. One thing that I'm not opposed to is uh, factoring in the work that the Community Better Than Foundation needs to roll up their sleeves and do for projects that might include some of this stuff. And, uh, and they're actually sitting on money that they could use for some of these things if, if they would just apply for it. Uh, so I think that could be a safety valve for some of these things, Jason. I agree. Well, it may have to be if we're going to continue with the splash pad because our the original thought of um, how that was going to get done may have changed. So, it, yeah, it may be an application for me. Okay. Well, they're all good comments. I mean, yeah. Yeah. good discussions on that. Any other discussion on this? These requests. You rid the tennis courts and build lots and get money coming in. <laughs> there you go. What are your thoughts on those tennis courts, Brad? I mean, what are your what's your opinion? Do they get used enough privately? I don't see them get used a lot, no. Other than the school coming in there in spring, which you'll be calling pretty soon, wanting to start practice. You know, but don't they have their own? They could build some more. <laughs> I mean, they it's kind of. Sorry. I think they're in the wrong spot. If we're on some new tennis courts, we just won't put them all together. And I think the school has room to put a couple more in yeah. right where they are. That's Even my whole thing. I, I'm, well, I agree with all those comments. So personally, I think we need to look at those. Thank you, Brad. Okay. Good all you have, Brad. Uh, do you want to stay in the cemetery? Yeah, let's take the cemetery, please. You can go to the cemetery. Where's that on? Uh, that is on 32.
make sense? It probably does make sense. How many would you gain, Brad? Uh, 800. 800. Yes. <laughs> so you wouldn't be coming back in a couple of years to ask them to do You hope not. Right, Mark? You hope not. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I don't, I mean, I guess. Could you I don't know if we should cut it down to five or something and then do a lot of the dirt work and kind of get started. Um, we yeah. do have in the cemetery budget um, 28000 to move to an online system from just the Excel spreadsheets we have this year. So maybe if we push it off another year or just did a smaller portion of it this year. An online system? Do you get buried online or what? <laughs> See, you know, we'll box that. Look up. <laughs> <laughs> Look up for it. I had to figure it out. Too. Yeah. <laughs> if we don't fund the ambulance, we got to buy more lots in the cemetery. Right? <laughs> All right? Amen, brother. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Save a lot. Take your point. Do you think five would get you a good start on grading? Five thousand? Yeah. I mean, some trees. <coughs> I mean, we'll probably do most of it ourselves anyway. Yeah. It's just your aggregate that you know, you know, your base for your roads to. You're gonna spend ten, at least ten, and not more on just rock for the road. Back okay, I give you it'll be ten or more. Ten. Uh, five will give us the work we can do ourselves. We can pin it all out, survey and everything in house. Could you create it and everything though, and then put the rock in, uh, in another year? Or would you want? I mean, I'm just asking the question. Yeah, I, I was just going to say, I don't want people driving on once it's great. If you're in great, you got to rock it. That's my opinion. You, you need to protect yeah, it. I'd like to put on a temporary fence, too, to keep them off of there. So it was fully established. Yeah. Scott's got barricades. Yep. After the railroad's fixed. Yep. They'll <laughs> <laughs> have, have them this week. Knock on them. Right. 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 So I hear we could get by with 10 for that number? For yeah, now? yeah. Be a good start. Come on. So you see how far that gets us. Okay. See how far that gets us. This one, uh, the committee recommended, uh, and that's if you look at it, um, basically flatlining the budget from last year to this year. Um, the things that were increased were uh, salaries and wages, uh, bargaining contract, um, those are already approved, um, and then utilities were also going up because those have been kind of trending over budget due to increased utility costs. Said six hundred thousand here at six oh one five sixty one. Where are you getting that other fifteen hundred dollars from? <laughs> um, 
bottom, bottom line uh, revenue over expenses is <laughs> Oh, there you go. Oh, oh. Right. Well, so we released really one thousand. We made it. <laughs> yeah, we made it. What did the committee cut? Where's that at? Just the bottom line. Yeah, we don't. Oh, you, you, don't, you, you don't do that. If you remember the library, they're, they're a little bit different than every other department because they have their own board. Um, their board kind of handles the expenditures of the library. Yeah, we don't worry about the lines. So we basically just set a bottom dollar figure. Yeah. Right. We just give them a suitcase full of money. <laughs> well, all you did, all you did from last year's budget to this year's budget is increase the salaries and wages line pursuant to what was already agreed, and, mm -hmm. and increase utilities because of increased utility costs. Correct. That's all you did. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Shirley, what do you want to tell us? I'd like to be like the airport guy. <laughs> 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 yeah, we can manage with this. Yeah, you know, we understand some years are good years, some years are not. You know. Everybody's got to take some lumps, so we can manage. All right, I think we're good. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. Like the airport, it was like the airport. Now everybody's going to be like Shirley. Okay, next one then is cultural programs. Page 26. Uh, this one is, uh, we use hotel motel funds for it. Um, it's for uh, certain limited expenses over at the art center, um, elevator phone, a few other things over there. And then um, a couple contracts that we have on with local nonprofits for different programs or services they offer. So uh, there were any changes in the requested amounts from last year. Uh, the one thing I do did want to know, um, and then maybe need some discussion, is uh, what notes did come in with the request under this budget? Um, they didn't get it in under our normal budget request time, um, so it didn't get included in here. Um, but they did want council to discuss it. Um, no. Uh, I that did you include it in here? I didn't include it in here, but why is seventy five hundred so? I, it's not, I, it's I think that's what it is. Yeah. I thought it was seventy five hundred, but I know I set them out separately. Um, and you fulfilled your obligation to discuss it. What's next? Okay. See, it was for nine thousand nine hundred. Oh. And it was to cover rent for their mm. Wasn't there also a request There's from the municipal band to not make that a matching, or, or did we handle that already? Um, the band had asked about whether it needed to be matching or not, and at the committee level, they said that yes. it yeah. needed to okay. be Good. matching. So that's handled. Um, I will say, with the net wet nose request, um, we do have to be careful with money going to nonprofits that they are providing the service for the citizens. Um, We'd have to have that contract. So they have to do a contract with them and everything. Um, we heard the chief say that he's going to move up to the top of the, right. top of the list. Yeah. Yeah. So they should get some revenue from that. Um, good right. They have a uh, volunteer appreciation of it this Saturday, if anybody wanted to go to that as well. I mean, they invited me, but I didn't want to invite anybody. did help it sell some cabinets there, so. Mm -hmm. uh, I've toured their facility, it's amazing. Yeah, it's great. So. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, I'll discuss okay. that. Uh, next then, Main Street Theater. Time, time out, just hold on one second on the, um, Nonprofits in the rig. What's the stipulation? Yeah. Our auditors called them out a couple years ago. So so we just have to have a written agreement that they're providing something. A service that we're not providing. Service. Yeah. So, so we've done some agreements in the past. Okay. We don't run 
the museum, so we have a contract for the museum. Not a major issue. Yeah, we can't just get it's it. It's just to it. make it legal. Okay, um, and then, so why is the Art Center listed on here? Um, they have not made a proof request for a number of years. Right enough, that's good enough reason for me. Thank you. <laughs> What's that? You're right, you're asking for more. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> well, I, I get calls and I get questions. There you go. And, and uh, you know. <laughs> um, Main Street Theater on page 27 is next. Um, so we pay the utilities over there. Um, we also pay for maintenance items over 750, I believe. Um, and then we have our contract with. Um, a new request this year was to uh, replace the current uh, digital sign they have um, with an older uh, marquee type sign with letters. <coughs> so that's included in the budget right now. They want, why do they want to go back? Is it just for historical? Uh, yeah, they say it fits the building better. Hmm. And you want to be able to read it. You want to be able to read it. I think it's the biggest thing is the sign now. Yeah, he said, um, I mean, we see it all day long. Katie could probably tell you. A lot of times it doesn't work. Um, you can't, I mean, you got to stand there to watch because, because it scrolls. Plus, I think he had told me the other day. That's what I was like. The other day, he had told me it's run off of a Windows 6. That's even better than my laptop. How is that so funny? Yeah, that's well. That's it. It's like the phone I just got rid of. Yeah, so <laughs> we call JD and ask her what's playing. Yeah. Just go on the website. Yeah. So we had had. Uh, I don't know if it was included somewhere. In there. He did get the price for a new digital monitor, which I think was forty thousand. Compared to, he said they're willing to do the letters. So. Yeah. I think I think something needs to be done with it. But. Yeah, so I and looking through the going through the theater the other day with uh, Brad and his guys, um, we're gonna have to be willing to do some stuff with that building because uh, walking through those the, the three theaters, there are so many broken chairs and stuff in there that they gotta be replaced too. So. We're eventually going to have to start, if we're going to, just like, if we're going to have tennis courts, yeah. they better look nice. Yeah, yeah. If we're going to have a theater, it better look nice. And be safe. Right. Yeah. Let's I agree. Increase ticket prices, that will help us. Yeah. I think we should turn the marquee sign to community better, but they can take care of it. I will tell you that the, the own the current I don't want to say owner current contractor that's running for us uh, he's he's mentioned numerous times he does like the nostalgic look to these theaters so. okay. This one actually so is in the economic development budget, which is back under enterprise, so all the way back to page 47. Um, so if you remember back in December, um, they made a request for the current budget and then um, said they would come back for next fiscal year's budget to so their budget request for fiscal year 23-24 budget uh, was $57,200, um, and that they get approved at the committee level uh, to pay out of um, the economic development fund. I don't know if council has any questions on it.
No, we did reduce it, um, our ask. Um, I was listening to what the council had talked to us about in that meeting in December and came back showing that um, Main Street would have skin in the game, per se. And um, we know that we this year will be, you know, more of a economic vitality downtown, whether that's tourism or just getting people into our shops. So we're pretty excited about it. Thank you. 